right, guys. So let's get into actually reviewing Eclair Cookie, who is the new support cookie that we have on Cookie and Kingdom. Uh, he is going to be part of the feature banner, unlike T Night Cookie, who I will be also reviewing. But right now, let's first promote Eclair Cookie all the way up to five star, and let's see how good he is going to be inside of not only the world exploration but also in the arena. Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you guys see his eyeballs? Look at his eyeball. Look at his eyeballs. L <laughs> Dude, his eyeballs are huge. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. All right, here we go. And the last promotion here, guys. Before we get right back into the video, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is going to be LD Player. If you guys do not know about LD Player, LD Player is one of the best Android emulator that you can download for the Windows PC in order to play various different mobile games right on your PC. I honestly have to say, after using LD Player for over 8 months throughout my YouTube career, LD Player has provided me smooth gameplay and stable connections majority of the time while playing Cookie Run Kingdom as well as Cookie Run Oven Break. Not only that, you'll be able to play on multiple accounts simultaneously through LD Player which makes something like a reroll process for a gacha game a lot faster. So make sure to check out LD Player through the link in the description as well as the comment section of this video if you're interested in playing Cookie Run Kingdom's newest update on your PC just like me. And thank you once again LD Player for sponsoring this video. Alright guys, let's, uh, let's go now and level up fully to the max. All right, and boom, max level, and of course, we're gonna have to max skill Eclair Cookie as well. Do I have enough? Oh, I do have enough, okay. Yes, there we go. And with that, holy moly. <gasps> what is up with the power? This is crazy. All right, the stats is 105,331. Attack is gonna be at 35,154. Defense is going to be at 26,150. Crit is going to be at 13%, making Eclair Cookie's overall power at 123,974. What? Yeah, he's cracked. Let's go over the skill real quick. Book of History, a low 16 second cooldown. That is really good. With all the knowledge and research accumulated over the years, analyzes and identifies the opponent's weaknesses. Cast weakness debuff for to three enemies with the highest attack, targets Kagis first, and amplify the damage they receive and deals damage. If the enemy is defeated while under the weakness debuff, all allies gain an HP shield. So, single hit damage, 841%. Oh my gosh, what? 841%? A single hit damage, weakness, receives plus 25% extra damage for 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Let me get this straight here. 40 seconds? The effect stacks up to four times. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this straight. So what you're telling me is, if you stack this up to four times, then... Uh, you're getting up to 100% extra damage? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm reading? And an HP shield is 25% of max HP for 3 seconds. That is higher. That is higher than pure vanilla's. 20% max shield. Wow. Okay. So, reading the skill. Alright, reading the skill. What I'm thinking is, go with full swift chocolate. You know, go with full swift chocolate. That's that's just gonna be it, right? All right, there we go. We're just gonna do this one, guys. All right, so I have full on swift chocolate equipped on Eclair Cookie, and if you guys want to see the sub stats right now, here you go. So I have 20.6% damage resist, as you guys can see right here, and then I have 19.7% without the set bonus, which is gonna make the overall, okay, overall cooldown at 24.7 which is going to have a 4 second start and a 9 second regular cooldown with a fully maxed out jelly watch all right the starting time does not matter about jelly watch but for the regular 9 seconds we're going to need to have the uh, jelly watch all right so that is going to be the 
two substats that I'm going to be focusing on, damage resist as well as cooldown. All right. So let's go and check him out in 8-30 because I want to see actually how good that whole uh, thing is and the 841% damage. So let's go. All right, guys. So we have Eclair Cookie right here. I am going to be using the Jelly Watch here and then going to be using the Scroll and the Slingshot, of course, because I am going up against a boss. But let's see how good he's going to be. Man, just by looking at the skill, he seems super OP. But I don't, I, I, I just don't know how good he's going to be actually, right? So let's see the, the auto attack. 47,000 as a support. Man, that's a lot of damage, right? I'm going to wait until the uh, the big weight comes here, right? So auto attack. Oh my god, 72,000? Jeez. All right, here we go. I'm just going to use it right here. Oh my god, 263,000, and then of course the 9 second stun, I mean, I mean, the uh, cooldown. But as you guys can see, the actual skill has a big delay. The actual skill has a big delay, but man, that is crazy. Alright, here we go. This is a lot of enemies right here. Three of them, right? And then boom, look at the shield. Look at that shield. Are you sure this guy is a support? Are you sure this guy's a support? Oh my gosh, that did half of what? Dude! That did half of Cake Witch's HP here. Dude, what? 673,000? <laughs> I love the eyeballs. I think that's one of the fastest clears I've had. Holy cow. Wait a second. All right, we got to try him out in the arena right now. This is crazy. This is some crazy stuff going on, guys. This is some crazy stuff. Let's go into the arena. All right, guys. So, of course, if when it comes to looking at Eclair Cookie's skill, we want to see how good he's going to be with a one-shot comp. And as you guys can see, currently I'm going to be using the Kumio... Uh, the gingerbread comp, but instead of using Frost Queen here, I am going to be using Eclair Cookie with a full Swift Chocolate. Alright, that is going to allow me to have a 4 second start on Eclair Cookie. And I just want to see how well this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to allow me to use the skills properly, but let's see if it works or not. Alright, and then if, if there needs to be some changes, then we'll get some changes. But let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to be going up against a double tank here, fully maxed out treasure, and a master 2. So let's see how well this works. I don't know if the skills are going to actually work out or not, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go. So we have Ginger Brave, Kumio, Eclair. Oh, Almond oh, didn't use the skill right away. Ah. Uh, so that that is a problem. All right, that is a problem. So maybe here we might need to use a... Almond with full sweat chocolate. Maybe that's what's gonna happen, but I still won. Holy cow. Dude, look at the damage that they do. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage on Eclair. Even though my almond didn't work out properly, I didn't wait. Like, I did so much damage. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Against a double tank as well. That is some crazy stuff. That is some crazy stuff. All right, guys, so we have a full Searing Raspberry build now instead so that we can have a five second start on Eclair so that hopefully this time around we can actually utilize Almond skill as well as the two skills and then do the damage link. So here we go. Let's see how this works. Let's summon our comp, but let's see how well we can do against this team even though it is going to be a little bit difficult uh, with Cotton and Pumpkin Pie. Let's just see. Because we have a Claire on our side. All right, here we go. So now we have Ginger Brave, Kumio, Almond, Eclair, Sea Fairy. There. Oh my God! They exploded. Dude, they exploded. Oh Did you see it go from zero to nine? Oh my. God. God, he out damaged Sea Fairy. He out damaged Sea Fairy. That is insane. 
Holy cow. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So one more battle before we end the review. But here we go. Another double tank. We have another Sea Fairy Frost Queen combo. And then it's probably going to be a Cotton here. But this, this time around, they have a Scythe instead of the Feather. So let's see how good this team is going to be because holy cow that previous battle their hp literally went from a hundred to nine percent with one skill let's go all right here we go a 1000 this one is ranked 1000 i'm only 10,000 here oh my gosh oh my gosh Dude, who can survive this? How are you gonna survive this? And then the shield? Again, out damage Sea Fairy. Dude, in this kind of team, Sea Fairy. I mean, Eclair Cookie is insane. Absolutely insane. Holy cow. I don't know what. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do against this team? All right, guys. So one last time with Coco instead, and then we'll see how well this team works out. All right, guys. Another double tank once again with the fully maxed out treasures, and then Sea Fairy and Frost Queen. So let's go. And Coco is gonna be the uh, three second star, Eclair, and then Sea Fairy, Frost Queen, Cotton. Okay. I do need to kill one of them, and as you guys can see, you see the, uh, oh my gosh, Sea Fairy just melted. Well, not Sea Fairy, that was Frost Queen, but man, just disappeared. Holy cow. And then look at the shield. Oh my gosh, this damage is nuts. Okay. If this is the case, I feel like you might actually be able to work this team out with a pure vanilla instead. Instead, if you're going to use this team, right, because you don't have Hollowberry, you might be actually able to utilize pure vanilla in this team. But of course, that's going to be for another time. But God, the damage is nuts. He's not even attacking five different cookies only three cookies and still doing what over a million damage that is crazy that is actually crazy man i want to see more and i'm gonna be doing more testing but oh god another support that is broken we thought cotton was broken and i still think cotton is still broken but my gosh Eclair Cookie is insane as well. Alright guys, so we tried out two different builds using Full Swift Chocolate as well as Full Saiyan Raspberry on two different teams. The Kumio and Gingerberry comp as well as a Coco and um, you know Eclair, Sea Fairy, Frost Queen, and a Cotton. And I gotta say right now, just by randomly putting in cookies together, Eclair Cookie is performing like a madman. And I gotta say, Dev Sisters have done it again, has released another support cookie that is absolutely broken. And I gotta say, if more testing is done on a Claire cookie, I think some nasty team compositions are going to be made and will be released into the game and will change Arena completely. And I am excited to see what's gonna happen. And if I have to say right now with just from this, I would say Eclair Cookie is going to be good and will be placed in at least S tier. At least S tier, right? And probably SS tier when it comes to the arena. And I'll say about S tier for World Exploration because that stinking shield, 25%, that's insane. For all of your cookies, psh, why would you not use him, right? So I got to say right now, that is where I will put it. Eclair Cookie is absolutely insane. And I'll have to say, within two days, I will be able to make a decision whether you guys should 100% pull a clear cookie or not. But right now, from just by looking at a clear cookie and reviewing him for the first impression, I am close to 90% saying a clear cookie is one of the must pull cookies right now in this game. But, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this 
first impression video. If you guys did find it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking and Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Because I will be testing not only Creep Puff, but also T9 Cookie and more in the future videos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all next time.